Hello and welcome back to Race Recap. My name is Jackson. Just the other week, it was the F1 drivers racing in their championship race at Abu Dhabi. So let's take a look at the circuit of Abu Dhabi. A little bit of an odd shape there. If you want to pause the video, get a closer look, zoom in if you want. Right there it is. But the drivers will come up to turn number one. It's kind of at a little downhill angle. They'll make the turn into turn two, three, and four, which are a couple of S's. Then they'll enter the turn five, which is the start of section number two. Then they'll go up through a speed trap, a long back straightaway, a quick left and right through six and seven there at the top of the track here in the blue section. Then they'll go down another pretty long straightaway, which is another almost a speed trap, but not quite. And they'll enter the third section of this track and they'll make the right turn. Come up through the S's of 10, 11, and the right hander at 12. Two left handers through 13 and 14. The left hander, or the right hander through 15. And lastly, through turn number 16 and back onto the front straightaway. All right, so this race was a crazy race. The championship contenders, Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton, came into this race tied, dead even, on points. So basically, it's whoever finishes the highest up will win this race. And it, to make it even better, it was a night race. They never do night races in Formula 1, so that was pretty cool. So 58 laps was this event. And as you see, pretty uneventful, but it got really dramatic toward the end of this race. So it all started out on lap 1, Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton course on the front row. Verstappen did not get great of a start, but he came back through turn number five, which is a pretty hard braking zone here, as you see right here. Turn number five, right over there. And it he broke in there and made contact with Lewis Hamilton. And for about 50 laps, it seemed like, there was a controversy on whether Hamilton should have gotten a penalty for going off course, but in the end, Stewart decided there would be no penalty. But that was just the start of the dramatic race. Later on, the 7 of Kimi Raikkonen, who was in his final F1 race after a great career in the number 7 Alfa Romeo, he actually got out with mechanical issues and did not finish his last race. Later on, his teammate and the other Alfa Romeo, Antonio Giovinazzi, would go out with mechanical issues, and so did the 63 Williams of George Russell. Now, George Russell's teammate, the 6 of Nicholas Latifi, was the start of a dramatic finish. So it was the one and only full course caution which brought out the safety car. He was battling with Nick Schumacher, Mick Schumacher, but Mick Schumacher was starting to pull away and Latifi just lost the back end and popped the outside retaining wall hard, ending his day. And that led to a big cleanup, and this happened with just five laps to go. Remember that. So, well, at the beginning of this caution, Max Verstappen was 12 seconds behind Lewis Hamilton, but he got right back up with this caution, and he came down to get fresh, soft tires, thinking there'd be a restart. But then, there were lap cars, five lap cars, in between Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen. Now, the official, Michael Massey, who was the director of Formula One, was making all these decisions up in the booth on whether or not we go back green, we finish the race under yellow, because you can finish the race under yellow in Formula One. But, of course, no one would want to see that, and I think he understood that. So, in order for them to get back under green, they would have to allow the lap cars to stay in between Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton. And, of course, Red Bull did not like that. They were saying, what a typical decision by the directors up there, letting the lap car stay in between, which would have made it ten times harder for Max Verstappen. So, with three laps left in the race, they decided, we'll go back green, but the lap cars will have to stay in between. And then, all of a sudden, no sign of this happening. With two laps left, they let the lap cars, just the lap cars in between Max Verstappen and Lewis Hamilton, pass through, but not the cars behind Max Verstappen. So now there was no one in between the leaders, and those were the two championship contenders. And they were still going to go back green flag racing. So after they went back green, it was a one-lap shootout, and there was more drama in turn number five here. It was the same place on the first lap where this incident occurred. Max Verstappen did a late dive bomb into turn five on the inside of Hamilton, and it paid off. They made a little contact. Hamilton had to give way, tried to fight back in turn number nine, but could not do it, and it was all Max Verstappen the rest of the way. So the Dutchman, it was his first ever Formula One championship. He is champion of the world. Congratulations to Max Verstappen. Second on the podium for this race was Lewis Hamilton, but of course that's no good at this point. And the 455 Ferrari, and that was Carlos Sainz running out the podium. And the Constructor Championship did go to Mercedes, but that's not nearly as good as that World Championship title. So... It's still being talked about today whether the directors up there in the booth, the stewards and the marshals, made an improper decision to let the lap cars just in between the leaders pass 
and it will probably be talked about forever in Formula One history. Well, that's all for Race Recap. Come join us in 2022. I hope you have a good Christmas and had a good New Year, and we'll see you when we do some preseason and some looking at the 2022 motorsports schedules.